In 2018, the next-gen ATP Finals will continue to innovate as the second edition of the groundbreaking tournament is announced. The sport is in a really strong place, but we wanted to try something different. Let's launch the new stars, put them on a piece of theatre, a stage where the, you know, globally people can see them. We wanted to promote the players and innovate with new rules. Then what was fascinating was afterwards was the reaction. A lot of people enjoyed the rules, they loved seeing these next-gen players. The players warmed to it and we saw how well they performed at the start of 2018 from whether it's Hang Chung to Denis Shapovalov. And it way surpassed all my expectations. It went without any hitch at all, it was incredible. And then it kicks into, right, let's now get 2018 even better. We're doing this from a position of strength to look at where we should be in the future. The balance is keeping the traditional elements of the sport, the gladiatorial nature, but all the elements that make tennis great and what people like myself love the game for, but how can we adapt it going further forward? This is a good time to experiment with something new and to try and see if it can work and, and almost how would it look and how would it work and this is the perfect place to do it. One of the things I remember watching the first match and we had severely reduced the warm up and actually I still thought it was too long so we're reducing that even further. We'll also include a rule where the player is not able to receive the towel from the ball boy. We come up with these rules from our personal thinking but also what people around the game would like to see. Hang Chun is a testament to the system of performing well and using it as a platform to, to move forward. I'm really enjoy the time in Milan with the new rules, with the good players and I had a lot of experience to start this year so I'm I had a great memory from last year. He was astonishing at the event. I mean, blew everyone away, but made himself a global star through that process. The whole raft of these characters, and what's so pleasing for me, is the calibre of the players. We have the race to Milan, which is building week in, week out. We know that it's on the players' minds, we know it's on the ATP's minds, and we can't wait for the next Gen ATP Finals to be a bigger success than last year. Everyone wants to play Milan, so I think it's more exciting this year. Watch it, it is incredible, it is something new. We are at the start of the conversation about where the future of our sport goes. Be a part of it. On ATP World Tour Uncovered next week, we're on the Swiss clay in Geneva. And there's tennis in the park in France. We're backstage in Lyon. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.